Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with the tiller that we're calling the Everything Attachments Tiller. Made in South Korea, but of the highest quality. These tillers are meant for continuous use in their fields there. They have a helical spiral design for their uh, ring gear and pinion that's in here, like in a car, to run very quiet and to run cool and for long periods of time. This is a four-speed gearbox, and I'll show you once we spin this around in the back how you change the gears to get you the different speeds. Most likely, you will be using it in, uh, in, the, uh, in our type of soils that we have in the U.S. in the slower gears. The higher gears are meant for uh, rice fields and stuff like that. There is some rice and things grown in different states here, Louisiana and all, some of the bottom states. So if that's what you're using it for, you can speed it up for some of the different purposes that these tillers were designed for. This is a category two hitch. It's not really movable because this is so big. If this won't cover the tracks of your tractor, then you need a bigger tiller. This is meant for 90 to 110 horsepower tractors has a huge rotor assembly in it, so it's going to be very aggressive. Six blades per rotor. The complete assembly will come out to change the, uh, the uh, tines and so forth. has a huge casted assembly over there, which we'll show you a picture of, that uh, keeps everything greased. This side over here runs in oil. This gearbox has a five-year warranty. And the side is also a gear driven uh, side instead of a chain. So, and it has a monster drive shaft here. It's very heavy. <clears throat> instead of uh, what's usually in them, which is a hollow shaft, this is a fine spline which gives you the most torque, and it is a solid shaft. Now, you may not have to cut this on that big a tractor. If you have to cut this, you're definitely going to need something more than a hacksaw to cut this. You'll need some type of fiber saw or a power band saw or something. But the drive shafts are really heavy, slip clutch protected, so if you do hit a rock or something, it's going to, you're going to slip the clutch instead of tear something up. Because with a 100 horsepower tractor, something's going to get. Uh, but this tiller is really meant to take it. I'm kind of leery of sitting here because it's so heavy. Um, it's got a solid pipe that runs all the way across the front, making it strong. Also reinforced on both sides of the gearbox here. Just everything about this is a super heavy duty tiller, meant for constant use and commercial use. So we're gonna we're gonna flip this thing around and show you the back side of it. Okay, so we just wanted to give you a side view of how large this gearbox is. You've got three huge gears in here, transferring the, the uh, force from the gearbox that's in the middle of it, all the way down to the rotor assembly. Easy to check the oil here on the level. Multiple holes for your slides, which are very heavy. Also, it's protecting here with this extra piece of metal, the wear of the dirt from your chain case has a uh, kickstand on each side of it because it's so long, you simply remove the pin, flip the kickstand up, put the pin in, you're good to go. Now we'll flip it around to the back and show you the other side in just a moment. Okay, so now on the back side of this tiller, as you see, it kind of looks like there's two different humps here. This is your main shaft coming in from your ring gear and pinion. There are four gears in here. So when you remove this case with these few bolts here, you're going to find that you can take the, between the four gears, you're going to have four different speeds. You can reverse the gears side to side, and then you have two more gear ratios that are bolted right here in the back side of this cap. So you do have four different ratios you can turn it on. Uh, most likely for our dirts, you will be in the slower setting, just depend on what you're doing, but you do have the option of changing it. Now this has a huge tailgate on it. This is 102 inches wide. That's over eight and a half feet. And so it's got four different sets of rods here where you can adjust how much tension you want for the ground you're doing, whether you want the consistency to be real fine or real coarse. And you're gonna adjust that between the tailgate and the speed you're traveling at and also with the gear ratio you're using. So this is pretty much a beast of a tiller meant for 110 horsepower. We're glad to have them and call them the Everything Attachments brand tiller. And if you look at the prices versus the competition, 
I think you'll be buying your tillers at Everything Attachments. We're going to turn it around and show you one more side. Okay, on the other side of the tiller, unique to most of the tillers we sell, instead of being greasable, this big casted housing in here, which is pretty thick on the other side, is actually holding gear oil just like the gear box. So you're going to put 90 weight gear oil in here and uh, that's going to give you just the long, it's basically a wet bearing instead of a grease bearing meant for long term usage without building up heat. And you can tell just by the, you know, this is half inch steel, there's a lot of half inch on it, there's some thicker than that, the dual kick stands, just the weight is almost 2,000 pounds. So as you're getting to a 2,000 pound tiller, our free shipping still applies. So take advantage because 2,000 pounds is not cheap to ship. And when you look at our price and take the delivery included and everything, I don't think that you can beat our price anywhere with this quality of tiller for this size. So give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll be happy to help you size the tiller that you need for your tractor.